Happy California! That's the score. I'm going to be the coolest guy in there. Not a bad day. Ooh. Go through it, Brando. Make sure there's nothing in there that's good. OK. Oh, that's cute. That's actually a lamb. <laughs> Too good. And we got one more box that we haven't gone through. Oh, look at all these old Nintendo games and all this stuff. In there. This thing is full of games, dude. The games are the most collectible. Here, check them out. There's Here. more games in. The whole bottom's full of games. I think we should set these aside and get these checked out. The only way we're going to dig ourselves out of this hole is if these games are rare and collectible. Well, this is it. Nothing funner than playing with geeks. Or your games yeah. with the geeks. We're taking our Nintendo collection to Larry and Dave in Video Game Geeks. Something tells me I'm going to be the coolest guy in there. NES system, it's common, it's a bunch games. of games in here too, fellas. What you got in the bags? You guys probably know better than I do. I can tell right off the bat, there's some good stuff right here. It's one of the most rarest Nintendo games you can find. Stadium events. Nintendo bought the rights to it, and thus there was only about 3,000 copies made. And this is uh, Trolls in Crazy Land. You're yeah. looking about $200. It's crazy. Just really? For this hey. cartridge. You got some really mint games. This is amazing. These video game geeks are geeking out on my games. This is one of the best lots I've ever seen that came through the front door. What do you guys think this thing is really worth? Considering the condition, the rarity, and the amount of stuff you guys have here, I would price this lot at $3,000. Awesome. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks a lot, you guys. Brando, let's pack our whoa, stuff whoa, whoa, up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We cannot let this go out the door. If you can't let it go out the door, then I'll sell it to you for $4,500. I'll tell you what, flip you for it. I've been known to flip. $1,200 or $3,000. Oh, no. This says gambler, not stupid. I'll tell you what I will do. I'll flip you for it. $5,000 or $5. You can't make money at $5,000, though. Yeah, I can't make it. You know what? Let's do this. I go to sell this stuff. You guys got first dibs on it. Sounds, Sound good? Sounds, sounds good. great. Thanks sounds again, you guys. Come on, Memo. We ain't got all day. All right. It's good. Let's get this done. Wake me up when this stuff's ready to go. My trucks are back with the three lockers I got for $68.50, and they're filled to the brim. Arcadia did not disappoint. These here are 300 bucks, all marble top, two chairs in the ottoman that go with the fainting sofa, $300 right there. We've got a nice Yamaha digital piano. That's going to be about 300 bucks. Then I've got the beautiful white showcases, 300 bucks a piece, nice and clean and sharp. I'm like the sea biscuit of this business. I take the lead early, and I leave everybody staring at my ass. And now we got the electronics. I mean, there's some cool stuff in here. This is a pretty cool reel-to-reel uh, -reel Pioneer. 500 bucks is what these are going for. And all these electronics, 2,000 bucks. I'm gonna estimate 400 VHS tapes in each box. At a buck a piece, that's 1,200 bucks. And I still got at least $3,000 left on the pallet. Not a bad day. Wow. What do you guys wanna do? You wanna get to it? Yeah, let's get it Go out. for it. What do you got there? Oh, these are all screens. These are really good screens right here, too. They're like 80 bucks a piece. How many are in there? Six. Equals? Four eighty. Yeah, four, 480. Oh. Uh, yeah. Jared. What? There's 10 more of these screens. 800 bucks. Oh, what yeah. What is that? What is that? That's the big uh, commercial printer for printing those negatives. Look at that thing. That's the silk spinning machine. You put the screen on here, we have the platform for the T-shirt, which goes right here, and when we have the dryer. I don't know the exact name for it, but it burns the image into the screen. With all this stuff here, the only thing I know for sure is that we have every piece of a silk screening business. The part I don't know is, what's that worth to somebody? Yeah, we should have somebody come out and take a look at it. This turned out great. We have all the pieces, and there's no Renee in sight. What's up, guys? You making any money over there? Go away. I'll talk to you in a little bit. That sounds awesome. I got this locker for only $1,900 because I was nice and smarter than everyone else. Oh. No backs for DC. If I had to back, I can get easily $500 for the set. So I hope they're in here somewhere. Otherwise, I might have to be making the deal with Jared. But those sure look like my pillows over there. I don't like where this is going. Oh, baby. A normal guy should know what this is. But I'm not normal. I sell stuff. It's laser for the face. So basically, what this is, these are different lasers. They put them on the face, and you massage your face. And I think it's for peeling your skin. But I know these can go anywhere from $500 to $50,000. 
so we're definitely gonna get this checked out. Those go right here. Yeah. They're the base of this machine. This machine, assuming we get the legs to this, it's probably another thousand bucks. Hey, Renee. What's up? How you do? Oh, you be nice to me, what do you want? Well, you know what I have is I have the feet to this thing here, the punching bag thing. Hey, is that weight set complete? Everything but the feet. Well, I might have to feet. Yeah, you do. To... Okay, well, make me a fair offer. I'm all yours. I'm thinking the feet to our weight machine for the feet to your uh, speed bag machine. Done deal. And then what about this one? I guess I'll go ahead and trade you that for the backs to your couch if you're interested in it. Yeah, that's cool. Good deal. Done deal? See you later. Alex, I got some good news and some bad news. So let's hear it. Good news is this was a great unit. The bad news is is I've done all the work I'm going to do today, so we're going to see you back at the shop later. Hey, creep here and guys are here. Well, it looks like you got everything you need. Basically, you just put a blank film in here, comes out when you push print. How much is it worth? Well, with the press, the flash, and the exposure unit, it's really not in bad shape at all. I'd say five grand. It's like easy money. Double our money and move on. This looks like the right speed. Oh, good. We're getting some plastic surgery. We're taking our laser machine to Dr. Gavami, a board-certified plastic surgeon. So this is a multifunction machine here. It has the uh, laser. It can melt fat, weaken the fat membrane, so I can suction and liposuction easier. So what is the purpose of this machine? This is a light version of potentially making my job easier to remove the fat. But what's it worth? Well, considering it's in pretty decent condition, I would say this is worth probably around $2,000. That's more than I pay for the unit. I don't think we should sell it, honey. But we're That's actually a good idea. <laughs> this is the most I've ever spent on a unit in California. Better pay out, bra. Now this is cool. Zenith Radio. Look at this thing. Maybe 35 bucks. Awesome weather vane. It's one of a kind, it's old. This could go for maybe 200 bucks. Oh, something here. What is this thing? Wow, vintage music equipment. This looks pretty legit. So I gotta take this to someone who knows um, about music. I'm in LA, shouldn't be too hard. I'm at Noisebug to see Nick about the rhythm machine I found. Oh, wow, it's in great condition. So do you know what this thing is? Oh yeah, this is a very sought after vintage really? drum machine. Okay. A lot of hip hop guys have used this. Beastie Boys, Brass Monkey. Ah. Good stuff. This is my jam. <laughs> Cowbell. Doesn't that mean moolah? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Tell me how much it's worth. Well, it's a classic piece of hip hop history. I'd say you can get, say, 2,000. Awesome. All right. I love you, California. I came to bring in O'Valley to work, and this is work. Those are pretty cool, like Buddha gods. About 10 baby Buddhas and $5 each, 50 bucks. These are things that you don't find every day. Hey, this is easier than I thought it was going to be. Woo! Warehouse stairs, 300 bucks. Now, that's why I call taking a notch out of 875. Ooh, jewelry box. I love these. Come on, come on. Pull the string. Yes. Yes. So right here, about six hundred dollars total in jewelry. Woo! Please be like the other one. Ninety-nine percent of the time, if one box like this has jewelry, you find another one, it will have jewelry. Now that's the score. Woo! Now these car parts just a little different to me. If they are car parts, they look kind of cool looking. Auto knitter for what? Hosiery. Oh, wait a minute. This must go with this, because that looks like a foot to me. That's an ugly woman's foot, too. Now that I know what this is, I got to find out what it's worth and how it works. How you guys doing? Hey, are you Ivy? I'm Ivy, yeah. Today, I'm at the Knitting Tree to meet Bruce and Annette and get my weird sewing machine looked at. This is authentic. Look at this. Laguerre. Nice. Do you even know what this is? Well, I'm assuming it's knitting since I found a bunch of knitting stuff. It's a sock knit. It's made to fit onto anyone's kitchen table. The gears are working. Uh oh, look at that. Round around we go. Okay, moment of truth. We have everything where it should be. Let's see if this baby works. There we go. Oh, look at that. Works oh, like that a look like working to me. Awesome. How much could I get for my item that's 100 years old? Well made. 
highly collectible, and working. Hmm. Well, in this condition, I would think you could get very easily a thousand dollars for this. Woo! <laughs> Let's make some socks. Yeah. Yeah. Hear me. Yeah. I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world.